Welcome to the 8th session of general awareness for TISNET 2023. So if you are applying or planning or planning to write TISNET 2023, stay with me for the next uh, 12 to 15 minutes and we shall be covering another installment of some wonderful questions based on previous TISNET GK questions. Before I start, so if you're looking at some strategic inputs, some current affairs related or general knowledge related input, you can subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. If you are looking at some quantitative aptitude related content, you can subscribe to our channel Mend Your Math. You can also join our WhatsApp channel and our Telegram channel on which we regularly distribute uh, relevant content related to testnet and MBA trends. And if you're interested in joining any of our courses, you're welcome to contact these numbers on WhatsApp, just WhatsApp, and we will get back to you with relevant information. So let us get started with the first question, which country has become the world's first country to approve Omicron vaccine? So as you all know, Omicron is a COVID-19 variant. And the first country which has uh, approved an Omicron vaccine is United Kingdom. In fact, uh, Omicron is an, a strain, another strain for COVID-19 virus. And this particular vaccine which United Kingdom has uh, uh, approved is valid for both the original variant as well as the Omicron variant. And hence, this vaccine is known as a bivalent vaccine. It is approved by MHRA, Medicines and Healthcare Products and Regulatory Agency, uh, made by the US drug maker Moderna. So, which country has become the world's first country to approve Omicron? The answer is United Kingdom. Next, who has won the Best Actress Award at IFFM 2022? So your options are Alia Bhatt, Shefali Shah, Karina Kapoor and Sakshi Tavar. The correct answer is Shefali Shah. So she has received this award for her uh, acting in Jalsa. And IFFM stands for Indian Film Festival of Melbourne. It is one of the largest film festivals outside India dedicated to performance in films in India. So as I told you. She won this award for her performance in Jalsa. The male actor who won the Best Actor Award is Ranveer Singh for his role in 83, which has been based on India winning the 1983 Cricket World Cup. In fact, that was the first time India won that World Cup. Uh, best Feature Film, this award was won by 83. This has been directed by Kabir Khan. Best Director, Shujit Sarkar and Aparna Sen. And... It is a Victoria state government fund based in uh, Melbourne. This basically promotes the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne. Next, under which section of IPC is sedition law presented? Your options are section 125, section 123, section 124 and section 126. So this law has been presented in section 124. For your information, for the first time, sedition or the relevant sec section of sedition was drafted in the Government of India Act of 1890 and it was Lord Macaulay who included sedition. But what is sedition? Sedition is speaking in a way that causes hurt to the government or speaking against the government or making people hate the government or the established government of the day. So that is sedition. Let us have a look. So law used by any state to penalize people speaking in a way to make people hate or go against the government. But government ke against agar logon ko bhadka rahe ho, to yahan pe sedition law government use kar sakti hai aapko, aap, aapka ye kaam band karwane ke liye. Next, as I told you, Lord Macaulay drafted the Indian Penal Code in which the section on sedition was included in 1890 as an offense under section 124a of the IPC. Now earlier on, sedition law was basically used by the British government to uh, control the actions of freedom fighters. And over a period of time, 
many people thought that this law had outlived its utility matlab kai logon ne socha ki ye law ab apni utility iski khatam ho chuki hai is law ki so sedition law was used to crush violence the voice of freedom fighters in 1950s some courts held the view that section 124a was primarily a colonial tool and now it should be done away with but in kedarnath singh versus state of bihar ye ek कोर्ट में सूट फाइल हुआ था और उस पर्टिकुलर सूट में एस सी अपहेल्ड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल वैलिडिटी ऑफ सडिशन लॉ बट इट लिमिटेड द स्कोप ऑफ द लॉ सो दिस वॉज बाय केदारनाथ सिंह वर्सेज द स्टेट ऑफ बिहार सो यू शुड नो दैट सम कंट्रीज हैव नाउ गिवेन अवे डन अवे विद द सडिशन द सेक्शन ऑन सडिशन इन द रिस्पेक्टिव लॉ यू के ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड सिंगापुर ये तीन ऐसे देश हैं जिन्होंने सेडिशन लॉ को पूरी तरह से हटा लिया है जबकि अमेरिका में अभी भी ये लॉ लागू है इट इज स्टिल एप्लीकेबल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द राष्ट्रीय कामधेनु आयोग वॉज सेट अप फॉर योर ऑप्शंस आर कंजर्वेशन ऑफ काउस प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ काउस प्रोजेनी ऑफ काउस ऑल ऑफ द अब द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑल ऑफ द अब सो राष्ट्रीय कामधेनु आयोग as the name would suggest has something to do with the cows it was set up under the national gokul mission i think of 2013 or 14 so it is an agency under ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying established for protection of cows the specific objective is protection of cows it is an integral part of national gokul mission and funds have also been released for setting up of 16 gokul grams for integrated indigenous cattle development centers yahan pe cattle development centers swadeshi cattle development centers inko banane hain isiliye is cheez ke liye national gokul mission ke under funds release hue hain aise 16 gokul grams banane ke bare mein plans hain rashtriya gokul mission was launched in 2014 to develop and conserve indigenous bovine breed matlab jo hamari deshi गाय है उसको कंजर्व करने के लिए उसकी रक्षा करने के लिए या उसको बचाने के लिए उसको ब्रीडिंग करने के लिए नेशनल गोकुल मिशन की स्थापना हुई थी 2014 में नेक्स्ट कामधेनु विज्ञान प्रचार प्रसार एग्जाम ये तो काफी विवादित एग्जाम था लास्ट ईयर और इसकी पहले यू नो इट वाज अनाउंस्ड एंड देन लेटर रिपीट बिकॉज देर वॉज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ अपोजिशन टू दिस एग्जाम एंड you know now this exam was not held last year it has not been held this year also kamdhenu vigyan prachar prasar kamdhenu kon hai kamdhenu hamari mythology se sambandh rakhti hai and she is described as the mother of all cows who has miraculous powers and provides her owner with anything that he or she desires for kamdhenu is also known by another name called surubhi next which musical instrument is anuradha pal associated with the correct answer is tabla and she is also the disciple of ustad zakir hussain and ustad allah rakha so she played the tabla she is an acclaimed uh, professional female tabla player and has her name in the limca book of world records as i told you she trained under ustad allah rakha and ustad zakir hussain two tabla maestros themselves they are of the punjab gharana next thillai nataraj temple also referred to as the chidambara chidambaram nataraj temple is a hindu temple dedicated to the nataraja the form of shiva as the lord of dance is located in which state the correct the options are karnataka tamil nadu kerala none of these the name itself gives it away <laughs> it has to be tamil nadu so it is also known as arulmigu sabayanagar temple located in chidambaram in kadalore district of tamil nadu chidambaram means stage of consciousness it was in news recently because there is a particular community which looks after this this particular temple is community ko dikshitars bolte hain dikshitars ye hereditary inka kaam hai that they look after the temple and they serve as the pandits of the temple and they did not allow authorities from investigating temple records inke beech mein aur authorities ke beech mein kafi anban hui thi iske liye ye temple news mein bhi tha kuch dino pehle 
Next, recently a man in India was found to possess an extremely rare blood group. What is the name of this rare blood group? EHE negative, EMU positive, SNE negative and EMM negative. The correct answer here is EMM negative. Now this is another type of blood group, EMM negative. A person who has this particular blood group is not able to donate blood and is not able to receive blood from any other person. So 65 year old man in Gujarat was found to have this particular blood group EMM negative recently and it was detected in the Lok Samarpan Raktadanda Kendra and Research Center based in Surat, Gujarat. Only nine other people in the world have this particular blood group. It is so rare and as I told you such people cannot donate blood to others nor can they receive blood from others. Next. Which Indian space tech startup has launched its first commercial satellite, Shakuntala? The correct answer is Pixel. Now, there are three other agencies which are concerned with space. Bellatrix Aerospace, it is headquartered in Bangalore and established in 2015. It plans to launch its own rocket named Chetak in 2023, that is next year. Let's see. Team Indus, again headquartered in Bangalore. The team came together for the Google Lunar X prize. This was a prize announced by Google a uh, few of, I think a couple of years back. Dhruva Space, another Indian aerospace manufacturer, is a private company head, headquartered in Hyderabad and they developed small satellites. So Shakuntala is one of the three demonstration satellites that Pixel plans to launch earlier Anand was its first satellite which has already been launched. Next, which company launched Saudhan Rahe, Safe Rahe, a public awareness campaign on financial fraud risk? The correct answer is Bajaj Finserv. So it was launched by Bajaj Finserv whose headquarter is in Pune and the CEO of Bajaj Finserv is Sanjeev Bajaj. I am sure all of you have heard about this name. Next, the renowned Kamakya temple is situated in which state? Orissa, Jharkhand, Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. I think recently this question was asked in the in KBC also. <laughs> so, the correct answer is Assam. Guwahati, Assam. The oldest and the most respected centers of tantric practices this temple is. And there is another festival, there is another Mela called Ambubachi Mela which is celebrated here annually. So before we end this set of questions, I once again remind you if you like the session and if you want to watch or view more such sessions, please subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me and if you are looking for some quantitative aptitude or reasoning related content, please subscribe to our channel Mendy of Maths. You can also join our WhatsApp channel, WhatsApp uh, groups or Telegram channel for any details regarding the courses offered by us, Tisnet courses by us. You can contact these numbers on WhatsApp and we'll be happy to help you. So with this, we come to an end of this session. If you want to get in touch with me directly, you can WhatsApp me on this number and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.